Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of my, Ethical Hacking, web series. Today, we are going to discuss about the, hacking via doxing. Before we start, let's understand what is doxing. Doxing is essentially gathering sensitive information about a target that they generally wouldn't want or expect disclosed. These details include everything from their name, email address, zip code, and even home and work addresses. This video demonstrates some techniques to gather intelligence about a specific target using various online resources. The collected information can be used against the target in different scenarios. Let's jump into some examples of doxing. Case 1. Get the IP address of the target through tracking links. To get the IP address of a target, a free online service can be used. Go to iplogger.org and select the option, Invisible Image. In the next screen, IP Logger displays the tracking dashboard where one can customize a tracking link and view the URL used to display the tracking results. Send the tracking link to the target. Deceive the target by inserting the tracking link inside an email message or send it via a social media message, e.g., Facebook chat. Once the recipient clicks the tracking URL, go back to the IP Logger website and access the URL used for viewing statistics. The target IP address should appear here. Case 2. Get the IP address of the target by investigating email message header. If there is a previous email communication with the target, if your target has messaged you, you can get the IP from checking the email source. To do so for Gmail accounts, follow these steps. Open the sender's message in Gmail and click on, show original. Now search for, received, within the code and copy the IPv4 address of the sender's device. Make sure to start reading the email source from bottom to top. With a target IP address on hand, go to https colon slash slash www.ipaddress.com slash and enter it to gain insights into records, such as WHOIS information. This resource provides information, such as the area, postal division, state, nation, ISP, and working framework. Take note of these details and continue onward. Case 3. Get the public posts of someone. Now, to find target public posts on Twitter, use the at operator. Here's an example. At someone. This will retrieve all tweets that reference the someone account. Case 4. Locate the target email address. In most of the organizations, email address are the combination of first name and last name. If their name is known, enclose the target name with quotation marks. For example, Enter, first name last name at company.com, or, first name dot last name at company.com. Case 5. Find out what other social media accounts the person is using. It is easy to search a username of any person. Search in Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. If you are in their friend list, this task is even simple. If we are able to get the username of a person, we can search for all instances where this username is used by knowing one of the target social media profile usernames. I'm using checkusernames.com in this case. From this example, I can clearly see username status as available or not available for many social media. User available means the person is not using this username in those social media. Username not available means this user is already using that social media website. Case 6. Reverse image search. We are posting out pictures on the social media very often. A personal picture can be used for a reverse image search. Simply go to Google reverse image search and either paste the image URL in the search box or upload it to Google. Case 7. People search engine. People search engines are similar to typical search engines. They index online content but focus on personal details and store the results in huge databases to return information upon request. Search for a target using his, her full name, email address, or mailing address using any of the following people search engines. HTTPS colon slash slash www.411.com How to avoid getting hacked via doxing. Doxing is probably one of the easiest forms of hacking, if you're good at information gathering. For people that collect intel on a regular basis, doxing can almost become second nature. While there are a variety of ways to stay anonymous online, 
for the most part, millions of users still refuse to close their blinds. Instead, they set their social media profiles to public, add anyone that requests, and allow virtual access to the last five years of their lives. Sometimes you have to learn the hard way. On the other hand, you could also go with the easy way and consider the following tips. 1. Lock up social media, or get off it entirely. Websites like Facebook are the perfect opportunity for hackers to gather information. Too many people will use pet names, birthdays, anniversaries, etc. for passwords, and then post that information on their profiles for everyone and the grandma to see. The best way to avoid doxing from social media is to get off social media entirely. And sir, the next best option is 2. Create an alias. As silly as it seems when you see someone you know with a fake name on Facebook, it's actually not a bad idea at all. In fact, using a fake name on Facebook could save you from getting hacked. On top of that, only add people you know, trust. 3. Use variety. When you're creating online profiles, accounts, make sure you're using a variety of different usernames, passwords, email addresses, and even fake information, when appropriate. If you give yourself multiple personas, it makes it harder to track down authentic information. 4. Two-step verification. Use it. It might seem annoying, but it is also there for a reason. People don't use it because they enjoy spending an extra 30 seconds signing into their devices. They use it because they want to keep those devices under their own control. That's all for today friends. Hope this video helps. We publish cybersecurity related educational content every week. So, please subscribe my channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you.